Hi everyone, Agnes here and this YouTube is for those of you that have had the thought, why don't they love me back? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through in the first part of this YouTube four reasons why your love interest doesn't love you back. Then I'm going to give you a little bit about my relationships and some insights. And then in the third part of this YouTube, I'm then going to go through three ways to boost your chances of being loved. So part one, why they don't love you back. Number one, because we try to make them our source of love in the absence of a true relationship with ourselves and the God of our understanding. Now, it could be God, source, infinite intelligence, whatever you prefer. Let's just say a power greater than yourself. Okay. Why they don't love you back. Number two, because we have an anxiety, a fear of not being okay, good enough, really deep down. And that their love isn't here for us. And if we don't get it, we will have great suffering, anguish, and a pain so great, it feels sometimes like you're going to die. So that, all of that that you've got going on within you can be a pressure on the other person. It might not be verbal, energetic, okay, that, that stuff. Number three, why they don't love you back? Because we perhaps feel inferior to them because we feel that our relationships are hard because we feel why do others get this right and I just can't seem to get it right myself. I can't seem to work this out. I must be defective. I am defeated in the love department or maybe sometimes the thought of, in my case, am I actually stupid in the area of love? Number four, why don't they love me back? Because you have obsession. I have to have them like a drug, a shot in the arm that immediately removes all my suffering it's making someone as this God or this, you know, it's like you make someone Jesus Christ or Buddha in your life, but not in the positive way. Okay. So in terms of my own relationships, I can see that over the years, the relationships came and went and came and went and I will put my relationship success stories playlist or not so much success stories but how I got to a success story with what I learned I'll put that playlist down below for those of you that would like to see it but in my own life it really was about no matter what I did I ended up with the same result which was that I ended up being left and being in a state of abandonment, being in a state of, I had a fear of loss and then it would eventually come to that point where I lost the relationship. And most of the time there was a third party. So I was definitely second best to somebody else. So all of this would happen again and again and again. And you can say in the beginning, as I did, I've picked the wrong person, I made a bad choice, this person wasn't right for me. But as it happens more and more, you start saying to yourself, okay, hang on, as I did, I'm the common denominator. Why do I keep getting this same result? So I understand that fear of abandonment. I understand that fear of loss. And I understand the anguish that you go through when you're in it after someone has left you. I've, I've got about five of those behind me before I, you know, ended up in this wonderful relationship with my specific person, but I had to work on very specific things and I will share what you can work on a bit later, but I'm going to go into part two now, how to boost your chances. Okay. Number one, it's really getting to the place where you have a connection to yourself and to 
a power greater than yourself because sometimes our own might, our own force, our own will, all of these things in the beginning feel like they're enough. But as you fail, it crushes your confidence and you are not able to do it on your own strength alone. So having a power greater than yourself to hand it over to, to ask for guidance while you're working on the bit that you can do, which is influencing your own self through, as they say, my partner says it to me all the time, God helps those who help themselves. So it's doing the bits that you can do, working from the inside out, working on your self-love, working on your self-worth, working on your I'm secure, working on I am my own source of love, and learning to radiate love out to attract that wonderful person back or a brand new relationship so that it comes to you. Louise Hay said many, many times, and I used to laugh because I thought, what does that mean? It comes to you, through you, from within you. So it comes to you, but it comes through you, from within you. So as Neville talks about changing states, you've got to go from feeling unloved to loved. You've got to come, the love has to come through you, from within you, out, and then the evidence comes into you, as in the love from a specific person. Okay, so you connect to yourself, connect to the source, the God of your understanding, infinite intelligence, and you do it through prayer. Okay, you sit humbly, you ask for guidance, and you face your internal anguish and stop looking for external validation and external reassurance of love from this person, okay? Because they are not the balm to your wound. They are not the balm to your suffering, okay? It really is about clearing your own stuff so that the relationship has no pressure on it, so that person has no pressure on them to make you feel loved, to make you feel happy, okay? Now, boosting your chances number two. Let go of your negative self-damaging tendencies, okay? So you've got to be honest with yourself here on what you're doing, if you're doing any of these. Number one, forcing. Number two, pushing, creating drama, manipulation, all of this to get attention, whether it's on social media or on WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, whatever it is that you use, you've got to stop this behavior in you because a person that has a meaningful relationship with someone doesn't do any of these things, okay? So you've got to stop checking stories, stop checking if they're checking your stories. You've got to give all this, this is all external program of foolishness, I, I will say, as the English say, okay? You've got to give this stuff up because if you want to have a meaningful relationship, you have to act like someone who has dignity and self-assuredness and love, okay? So it's correcting that imbalance in you. It's correcting your bad habits. It's sweeping your side of the street, okay? Number three, boosting your chances by building your inside love. So daily, practice building it. Now, I'm not gonna go into a whole bunch of stuff here. I will put down below for those of you that wanna learn how to do this and to get better at it. I'll put the self-love success stories playlist down below and I'm going to put the self-love playlist down below with things that you can do because I've talked about that endlessly in many other YouTubes. Now, also it's about changing your beliefs about yourself and about relationships. Again, I've gone into that many times. I'll put the uh, playlist for those down below for you to check out. And there is a website called recreateyourlife.com with Shelly Lefko and Morty Lefko. I have interviewed Shelly. She is a wonderful woman. Her whole life's work with her husband is about how to change beliefs. I think they're the best people that I can refer you to if you want to do some more of this work. The links will be down below and on their homepage, you can actually change the belief, I'm not good enough and you can do that for free with a little process that they do and it's excellent. Okay, now the other thing and the final thing is doing the inner child work, as in releasing the old wounds, because the relationship is not there to make up for your childhood. 
it will be somewhere, uh, it will be something that hits you. The relationship will hit you in the old childhood wounds, but it is there for you to heal, to correct, to release, and to set yourself free from the childhood issues that are causing disturbances in your relationship. So it's very possible to break free, to be at peace, to feel amazing, to know that you are loved and to be able to be in a state of love so that you are no longer trying to hang on to someone's ankles as they walk out the door and they're dragging you with them. Okay, because that's exactly what it's like when someone is moving away from you and you feel your abandonment pain. Your need is to hang on to the ankles and you get dragged out the door. So it's taking your hands off the ankles and saying, you know what? I'm going to do this work on me and I know that once I get into that, I am secure and I am at peace and I am good enough and I know it not from a place of arrogance, but from a place of beauty and dignity, a dignified place, then you are in the best position to be able to bring love to your feet and have that amazing person that you love show you the evidence of it but it's an inside job first to you through you from within you all right everyone lots of love i hope that helps i'd love to see your comments down below as to where you're up to in this process what bits you are working on what bits still need work share your bits and pieces and as always i will see you in the next youtube and i'll put the links down below to everything i discussed Mwah!